So this police officer is just following us. This is the center of the city? We're being followed. Our mission would be to destabilize. I have no idea what this is. This is hands down Europe's strangest capital city. One of the weirdest cities I think I've ever been to. It feels like it's still, you know, 20 years in the past. Is it a bird? Is it a Twitter logo? It's worth noting we haven't seen many tourists. Even in the hostel we're staying in, there's a lot of Russians, some Ukrainians just living here, but not a lot of like tourists. This is the saddest fountain I've seen in Europe. Not only is the water just disgustingly brown, there's trash floating all in it. Just look at these little streams. If you're looking to go somewhere that just kind of has that like culture shock, that wow factor. On first impression, Chisinau is really giving it off. Look how big these, these roads are and look. You know, that's not a lot of cars for like capital city. And this seems like it's on a pretty busy street. You have like an Arc de Triomphe de Moldova. This monument is situated on the central square of Chisinau and has become a symbol of victory due to the fact that it's located on the same line as the bell tower and the cathedral in the center of the city. This is the center of the city. This is the center of the city? Super. <laughs> The water doesn't look good, but this fountain's not quite as sad as the other one. This is, this is the content we came for. One in Moldova, do as the Moldovans do. I'm so not grateful. All the women just hang their purses on the trees. Like they just hang them up there and walk away and go dance. You would never see that at home. It's the council. You gotta be careful. Well. Dang, this would have been a really cool one to see in action. And the water would have flown all the yeah. way out. What happened to all the fountains in Chisinau? If you're a Moldovan and you know why all your fountains are sad, let us know. On maps, it says this is president of Moldova. I don't know if that means office or what, but it's huge. But look at this building, and then look at this one. This old Soviet style, brutalist, concrete, gray, blocky building. They do a great job with the gardens. The hedges are all nice, the flowers. I mean, look at this. The flowers are nice, the fountains, not so much. Also, this police officer is just following us, just staring at us as we walk around the building. He saw you like whip out the camera and then immediately started following. You are being followed. Trying to find a statue of Lenin and Karl Marx. So there's two police officers kind of just following us. Oh, this guy behind Haley. And there's a guy to my left just staring at me. This guy yeah, over yeah. here. They might think we're international spies on a mission. I don't know what our mission would be. Our mission would be to destabilize the fragile democracy of the Republic of Moldova. Just kidding, guys. We're just tourists. Moldova was called the Garden of the Soviet Union, and I, I'm getting why. 
They do nice, nice gardening, nice yard work. Their flower skillage is unmatched. Their flower skillage? Yeah. <laughs> idea what this is. This is like a beef cutlet. I think this is potato, I'm not sure. This is like cabbage with like ham and... Maybe cheese? Yeah, maybe like little cheese strips. And this is I think like a gravy. I feel like this is something my mom would make. It reminds me of like Midwest food. It's like a chicken like meatball. It's actually pretty good. It's really yeah. salty. Really salty. It's like beef cutlet and like dough. I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's nothing special, but this whole meal was 64 Moldovan lay. I don't think you can complain for $3. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely cheese and ham. The cabbage is a little bitter. It definitely has mayonnaise on it. This is something yeah. your mom would make. Yeah. These were the best. The yeah. chicken balls and the gravy. Mm. Yeah, honestly, I, I mm. give this a 9 out of 10. Sorry for the bad filming in there, but... We had to be sneaky. That whole plate of food was $3.37. Any of you Moldovians know? Do you have any gold medals? There's supposed to be some big statue of Lenin here. We're just trying to find it. Vladimir Lenin. Look at that hammer and sickle. RCCM, Republic Socialist, so Soviet Socialist Moldova. Not 100% sure who this is. I'm guessing this kind of looks like Stalin. The mustache looks a little thin. So you have Stalin, Lenin, and I'm guessing this is Karl Marx. The three pillars of Russian communism. You gotta be careful here because. We're losing daylight. Hope you guys enjoyed wandering through Chisinau with Haley, myself, and Lawrence. Keep watching where we have plenty more Chisinau, Moldova, ex-Soviet lands to go through. See you later. Bye. 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 We're going down. <laughs> Into the Soviet rabbit hole we go. <laughs>